everyone, and welcome to my presentation on the evolution of the World Wide Web. The World Wide Web is a global information medium which users can read and write via computers when connected to the internet. The World Wide Web is often mistakenly used as a synonym for the internet, but actually is a service that operates via the internet, similar to how email does. Let's talk about how the World Wide Web has evolved from Web 1.0 to 2.0 to its current state in the inception phase of Web 3.0. Web 1.0 was developed around 1995 and was the introductory read-only phase of the World Wide Web. Here there is only limited interaction between sites and web users. It's simply put an information portal such as directories and online encyclopedias. Where 1.0 ends and 2.0 begins is difficult to determine, but some coin 1.0 to have officially transitioned to 2.0 around the new millennium with the development of social sites that allow for feedback via comments and promoted community interactions. My favorite examples of 2.0 are YouTube, Facebook, and Wikipedia. Blogging is also a popular method to get information and meet people via the World Wide Web. Just when we thought things could not get any better in the line of technology, the likes of the Web 3.0 were developed. Haha, uh -huh. get it? Like? <clears throat> I digress. Web 3.0 is the third phase in the evolution of the World Wide Web. It has been termed the intelligent phase. It is the era of new age browsing using new age internet technology. Examples include the Cloud, Siri, Kick app, and Facebook Connect, just to name a few. What will we do without the World Wide Web? I, for one, depend on such applications such as Google, Facebook, and Siri to su survive my daily routine. I really look forward to what the World Wide Web has to offer as it further develops Web 3.0 into Web 4.0 and beyond. 